I think that Jazz got herself into something that, one, she didn't understand that mm -hmm. she was getting herself into, mm -hmm. and I think she would love to backpedal if she could. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bryant, we don't know. I, I'm not sure. You know, I'm not sure if it's like Dr. Dre kind of Dr. Bryant or <laughs> Dr. Bryant. I don't know. But <laughs> We ain't know, found no license on the bitch. My she, bad. Go ahead. She, she aftermath right. doctor. I'm not sure. But one of the things was when she mentioned on The Breakfast Club that she would sit down with Jasmine. I thought that was disrespectful. Okay? It was. I thought that was. I came across in a way of, you say that you want to help. You say that you want the family structure, you say that you want the community, but how many times does Jasmine have to scream from the rooftop that she is happy in her relationship? She understands who he is. She is his balance and she does not, she's not going anywhere. From the internet and obviously because they're all piggybacking off of, you know, Dr. Bryant. They're trying to force her to, they're like, oh, you're happy? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? Like, you see how it, smart she is though? Like, that's a great point. Divisive. You know, it's very divisive. Like, do you, you want the family structure, but and I gotta, I gotta say this, okay? Because I can't, I have to be really honest. But it comes <laughs> off as you didn't like the fact that Cam is so strong in his masculine. You didn't like the fact that he has the ability to have options. And so, what you want to do is get into her head, pull it apart, so that then you can say, oh yeah, we have stripped Cam of anything. See, I was right. And yeah, so well, that, I think yeah, that's, that that's kind of messed up yeah. and it's also it keeps causing this campaign of people coming at her on the internet. They said uh <laughs> they say Dr. Bryant gonna send a stud bitch to your yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, 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 man. For before we get started, man, for all the people, man, that, that donated to the uh the kettle, man, to support all the uh, kids Christmas out there that may be less fortunate and fans of that nature, man. Don't forget to put your donations in, man. Dollar, two dollar, whatever it may be, man. Anybody that can be in those situations, guys. I mean, don't forget to donate to the uh, cash shop to support those families. But uh, Dr. Uh, Cheyenne Bryant, mm. Corey Holcomb, this is crazy, man. Like I, I seen the Cam Newton, I seen clips of the Cam Newton in the, uh, her interview and stuff like that, man. And uh, <laughs> I didn't never think that this was gonna go this far with Corey saying she a fake doctor. You know what I mean? She's giving marriage advice <laughs> to married couples. <laughs> And she's never been married. Um, I'm just lost with this. And not just that, she says she had been proposed to multiple times. Now she, Corey says she had a girlfriend. And I'm like, this is getting real messy. Now I ain't know none of this stuff. I thought she was a real doctor. Now he's saying she's not a doctor. She don't got no certifications or anything in that field. <laughs> I'm like, what the world is going on out here, man? This is getting real cheesy and crazy, man. And she said, my man, she on the breakfast club saying my man got bad hygiene. He got that black and mild alcohol, old unk smell to him and stuff like that. I'm like, yo, what's going on, man? I mean, they sending some real brutal shots. She said, my man got had a failed uh, comedic career. <laughs> I like this going, this going crazy, man. And then I heard uh, my man Corey said they supposed to have did a. Uh, Cam Newton was trying to set up a thing where they can do a debate, I guess, on his show or something like that. It's getting real wild, man. I'm telling you, man, because a, a lot of the stuff I didn't know. Then he was like, uh, the uh, Cheyenne had what, what, surgeries or something like that. Because I was trying to figure out the core Holcomb piece when he was talking about women with BBLs, got mental illnesses and things of that nature and stuff like that. <laughs> do I believe what he was saying is true? Yes, it is a mental illness. And he said, the reason why I say that because it's something about yourself that you feel is inadequate, right? So that's mental, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like anything you trying to make bigger or larger, you feeling like the, the, the community or society is not accepting you for yourself. So you doing modifications to make something look better or bigger or larger or whatever that, where you, the lips, the, the butt and all of that. So when I heard that, right, so I'm like, I'm thinking he's just talking in general. <laughs> so I'm, like, so I'm, I'm guessing, because Corey come back and say that uh, Cheyenne Bryant got surgeries and stuff like that. I'm like, what? I'm like, bro, putting her business in the street for real. <laughs> I thought, I well, they going so low. It ain't even, it's ridiculous as heck, G. Because I didn't even know all that. I didn't know she had surgeries. I didn't know she had a girlfriend. I didn't, And then I didn't know she wasn't certified as a doctor or none of that. I thought all of this, because they call her a doctor on every interview show she go on. She drop a lot of good jewels and a lot of good information. But I think what people kind of was, was mad about was the jazz thing and Cam Newton, how she was telling her, like, uh, how to feel in her relationship. It would be the equivalent of her telling Jada Piggins and Will Smith how to feel about that relationship. Even though society got their feeling about how they feel about it. 
and the people in it gotta feel the same way you feeling. Other than that, I like open relationships. Let, let's talk about that. Everybody can't do an open relationship, right? And everybody ain't acceptable to an open relationship. There's certain religious groups that like having multiple wives and things in their nature. Certain religious groups don't believe in it. You feel me? So it's like, it, pick what you like, you type of thing, you know what I mean? But can I be like, no, you gotta do it my way. I can't say that. <laughs> I look crazy trying to tell you how to live your life. You know what I'm saying? I could give advice. You know what I mean? If you're on the internet and you're doing like a podcast, you just giving your opinions and stuff like that. When you start saying people's names and stuff like that, and you know them people, <laughs> get a little messy, man. And I think a lot of people, I even heard um, Jess Hilarious come off and say like, she ain't like the way how she was coming at Cam old lady. She ain't like that new. You know what I mean? But she wasn't saying that in the interview because the energy got flipped on Corey Holcomb to the point that both of them don't like Corey Holcomb. So of course they was kind of like it, like on, on the same team at that time. But at the same, when it come to Cam Newton, they not on the same team. She don't like the way how she coming at Cam. <laughs> Just ain't was wasn't feeling that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, by opinion on it, if, 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 if Ace liked the way what was going on with her and Cam. What we can say about it. <laughs> like, she wanna have a sit down with Cam old lady. That's funny, man. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing they got kind of messy to me. I'm just like I'm I'm just listening and learning different pieces. She was saying what Corey Holcomb um kids don't wanna talk to him, he don't got a good relationship with his old uh ex wives and all of this type of thing. Like, yo, this it got real messy and real tense, crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought she would have had a little bit more composure as the doctor. She she saying like, you know, like doctor doctor. I'm thinking she about to be shot. Like eh, she she could just like you know what I mean? <laughs> but I don't know, man. This is the, the the exposure is going because it's multiple people saying that she's falsifying this doctor title. It's multiple people <laughs> saying this. So, I'm talking about. I'm seeing so many uh, channels come out. Oh yeah, this is fake. Oh this is fake. Oh this is. Fake. I'm like Jesus, man. They going in on the old girl, you know what I'm saying? So she gonna definitely gonna have to pro provide some documentation. <laughs> Yo, this is wild. So a fake doctor the whole time. I did not know this, G. I promise I did. And then she got a girlfriend the whole time. Bro said so she had a girlfriend. She had a dude. But you know, the women that mess with girls and dudes, <laughs> it depending on, like, like I say this, like, oh, uh, when it when they when when women mess with girls and dudes at the same time, like. The love switch, I always feel like it's faded. <laughs> like, who is the toy in this situation? You feel me? Like, who the toy in this? Because it, it's one of the one that she might really love, and the other one is a toy. <laughs> is the girl a toy, or is the dude a toy? Like, which one is the one that she loves? Like, you know what I'm saying? Evidently, it's not the guys. You know what I'm saying? So, and the girl's still around, so I'm like, I guess for branding reasons, it'd be it'd be messed up for her to marry the girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then again, in me, I'm like, the way society is today, I'm like, just go ahead and marry the girl. But then again, it might, I don't know. I don't get that part. I don't get why she hiding the girl. If that's if this is true though, why would she be hiding the girl? In my opinion, she should just go out and come out and they gonna get married or whatever. You don't have to fake the front and be like you liking dudes and you don't really like dudes and all of that, like. That's corny. Like, you like girls. Let's go ahead and marry the girl. That's what I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. In my belief, I don't believe it. In, in my faith, I don't believe in that. But I'm just saying, she faking a funk like that. <laughs> You're not with none of the guys, but you still with the girl. They're like, nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. You love the girl. That's 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 real. That's that's factual. If that if, if what Corey and I'm saying is true, you know what I'm saying? But nah, bro. One of them in the toy, evidently is the man in the toy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. It's, it's getting so messy and crazy. I'm like, man, it's like stuff I ain't even, I'm like, I'm, I see on the interview stuff, she drop a lot of good jewels here and there, you know what I'm saying? And then she kind of go, it kind of get a little ratchet a little bit. I'm like, whoa, this is going too crazy. <laughs> now, Corey, we already know Holmes, man. Holmes going to go crazy on <laughs> You gotta be top five, top ten, man. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I say raw and uncut, don't give a care. One of the Bernie Mac type comedians, that's Corey Hoker, man. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no Kevin Hart. He gonna he, he gonna come off. <laughs> he gonna come the heck off, G. But that's all I gotta say about that, man. Thank you all for tuning in, G. I'm out.